do burn, do burn, do burn. Free burn. Yes. Yes. Ooh. We are not out of it, but that gives us a chance. Oh, hello. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the roof uh, position. This is okay. Well, actually, it's not. That was horrible. Four damage and stun. <laughs> no, that was not good. Wait, you are not stunned. You're just like, ah, just a flesh wound. It's too bad you can't see it. Uh, can I do a... I can't quite do a attack on the snake. Uh, how do I free Irina? Uh, with combat protocol? crits on that one. I think I need to take this shot with the higher advantage here. Oh wow, minimal damage, no crit. We did not need that. This is this is very bad. Can Irina survive another one? It's two damage per pound, right? She's nearly dead. Ninety-five with the pistol. I have to take the shot. Free damage, free damage, free damage, free damage. Right, one move went to that stun. Can't get legs to a good position to uh, to shoot, so we are in we are in deep trouble with that. Uh... Do you always do two damage? Can you do can you do three? Will you continue with the pound or do something something worse? I think I will have to take this 52% shot just to free Irina because uh, she will get turn. If I uh, if I hit, it's very unlikely 52%. But I think uh, I think I have to take it. This one is for our lives. Oh shit! Oh brother, that's bad. So bad. So bad. Can you do a combat protocol all the way from here? Wow, you can. Why didn't you tell me? All you need is a line of sight. And of, of course I should have done this. I wasted the shot. I, I could have uh, I could have killed them both here. I wa I wasted wasted my opportunity uh, trying to do that stupid uh, Wait, there is a guaranteed kill slash it's not. That's why you use shotgun. Yeah, I, I messed up. Should have done that combat protocol and then uh, shoot the stunt met stunt mech with Bruno. 
Uh, I don't. I don't want to move. I. Uh, I want. Uh, I want to 100% shot. But uh, am I in cover from the mech? Yes, I am. Okay. Now, please, mech, don't kill any one of us. Sistemato. Please don't even damage us. Just, just be nice. Play nice. Just play nice. Keep it cool. Don't do anything. Don't shoot grenades. Fuck. No! What? 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 What AI made you do that? He doesn't have a like a covering fire overwatch, right? Right? Moron. That, what, what the heck was that mech thinking? Okay, five turns to get the hell away from here. Heading out. Moving to position. Okay, let's see how we do this. Uh, do we go from here? Was that the last one? Last group, will, they will just get reinforcements. Uh, how fast can we run from here? So that's like one turn, two turn, three turns. We, we don't have that many extra turns with the VIP. If we, if we open now, they will... Uh, I don't think I need to reload, because I, d I can't shoot that many times anymore. So I can just go forward. Moving to position. Uh, Demon has to... Actually, probably not. I think she will be fine as well with two shots. But she can always always Moving shoot out. with the sword. And I'm here going with the idea that they, uh, we killed every one of them already. Okay, so you will... Uh... Wait. This is hacking. Alright, it's always... You can always open it, but... Uh... You, uh, I missed the chance on this. Uh, well, I can get it, but uh, probably not. So we should always do these hacks with specialists, but uh, I think I had to run here. Run. Run. Je suis en route. More of them coming in. Yeah. So that's next turn. Not now. We're picking up an enemy we need we need overwatches now. Position. We need overwatches. How do we how do we do this? Four turns, four turns, four turns. I want that loot as well. Loot as well. I can't get to an overwatch anyway, so uh might as well get the loot and then move. She also needs to reload, so that's bad. I want the loot. Laser sight. Nice. Data pad. Excellent. Haven't seen either of those before. So we'll go there. Then, uh, probably Overwatch right there. Uh, our VIP should probably be here a bit. Uh, um, okay, if we if we can't get Overwatch, at least get a good good positions to fire. So Lex, they won't go to Overwatch. They won't go to Overwatch. And they come. 
Corriendo. Are there uh, more troops behind? If we have any group that we didn't take yet, they will also join. So that's obviously bad. Um. I think the VIP can run there. And uh, we'll be able to extract the VIP at the beginning of the turn. But we have to extract all units or we, uh, or we lose. I think I will take Lex there as well, so we'll have hide advantage shots, although they will go behind these full covers very likely. So we only have... Uh, we only have uh, really demon there to do anything anything significant. But uh, that it is what it is. Should I actually... Should I reload or should I overwatch? I think I should overwatch, yes. Moving to overwatch! Please don't throw any armored mutants on us. Alright, I take that 4 damage, that's excellent. Alright, are there more on the other side? No, just these uh, these guys. Just Menace these guys. Five hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Okay. Boss, we are not leaving you behind. <laughs> You're the only one who can't uh, can't run because I left you behind. I should have just run instead of reloading. So I could just des extract right now. Okay. Now the question is, will we uh, just Kill that one, or uh, we'll probably just kill that one. Do we need to use demolish, or uh, do we just go to phase? Uh, I think whatever I do, boss will run here, and he will be in distance to extract next turn. Still in time, we are behind turn, turn three, and we will do a pistol shot. Probably on that one, but that won't necessarily do much damage because uh, it has armor. So uh, should I should I take the shot on this guy instead? Maybe we'll see what happens. Um, so Irina with the sword. This guy has eight hit points. Or come up here and shoot with the shotgun. Still one, still one shot left. Uh, yeah. Oh, bit unlucky with the criticals today. Negativo, armas carica. Probably tear and shoot the shoot the mech. Samash. We uh, need to hit and do max damage. Quite unlikely, what we do after that. Is demon shotgun better option? But uh, we don't we can't crit those guys very well. Yeah, that's the option. Oh, no good. I think I can do, deal with that. With, uh, with well, actually, if I do a uh, if I do a shot now, with um, with boss and connect for max damage. So that is a long shot, pun intended. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. 
Right. Then, what next? Uh, probably here with Lex. Shoot that guy. Hope we I'm crit. Actually, could I have done for the, uh, the skull mine is 70%. So, uh, this guy and we, uh, we need that 40% crit. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome uh, VIP here. Okay, so we have two advanced troopers. They will do something. What will they do? They will probably shoot Bruno if I deal with this guy. So a slash is at least... F okay, it's lethal. It's lethal on both. Crossed. Target neutralized. No deaths, please. Shoot Bruno. Shoot Bruno. Overwatch. Don't kill demon, you son of a bitch. Thank you. They always prefer to overwatch in these uh, these situations, it seems. So now, uh, why can't you demolish? Because you don't have uh, you don't have ammo for it, do you? have the ammo. One of us will hit, right? Oh, wait. Bye-bye. Overwatch removed. Everyone gets in. Can Lex move after that? No, the combat protocol ends the turn. Will they get more reinforcements? I don't think they will because it's about to end. De acuerdo. Moving out. We will at least extract a VIP right now. We will just leave everyone here. Everyone here, just in case we, uh, in case something, something happens. Andiamo. Wait, can't we? Wait, what? Can't I? I can only e back. Menace one five, you're out of time. Get to the e back point now. Raggiungo la posizione. On your order. Okay. On any way. Why is that? Why? That's... I could have accidentally pressed the wrong key there if, if that action was allowed. If, if evac is number three, it's number three every time. Don't change the freaking number. <laughs> wow. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I need to be more careful there. I almost messed it up on the last turn. Oh, what a, 
But yeah, we dug ourselves out of the ice hole there. <laughs> oh man. I took a I took a little risk getting a kind of a not our not our A team. Not the highest level soldiers to uh, relatively inexperienced rangers. But uh, I think, uh, well, everyone everyone did their duty, but uh, in the end we, we needed that um, free damage shot from boss to uh, deal with the mech, because the mech could have done some serious damage. Of course we would have shot the, shot the mech with someone else if that missed, but uh, combat protocol, taking that snake out that was, uh, that bounded Irina, yeah. From all the from all the abilities, combat protocol is probably my favorite. Even that it's only two damage, but I so badly want to upgrade the gremlins, get more damage to the combat protocol if that's possible. I hope it is. So that's the that's the best ability in the game. So versatile. That that distance. That distance I used it uh, used it there. I, I didn't even didn't even think it was possible to use it from such a long distance. Sadly, no uh, no promotion for demon, but uh, but uh, Irina got one. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> yes, and I'm so happy it was for her. Nice. Oh wow. So that's that's the good old lightning reflexes. Okay, and I uh, I just uh, read some comments on YouTube, and I learned about this uh, little little icon here. It's so hard to press that without selecting. Kind of, you are scared, you are scared that you will uh, press it, but uh, this uh, question mark here, you actually uh, actually get details like that. Even the, is it the same that that is there in below? Oh, is there some? Okay, there's sometimes like a like a explanation there. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do with you? I kind of like the Blade Master, although Phantom is great, but uh, with the Lightning Reflexes, I can even I can even bypass the the other option that uh, Overwatch is don't hit. Choose something else. Yeah. Uh, did I take a shot with the aim penalty for a significant damage boost? So if we increase the aim, put on some scopes, things like that, uh, this will be great. So uh, let's build a really Long range deadly sniper. Out of boss. I think someone someone said it well. As as I said when I <laughs> That nickname <laughs> That nick the nickname just the just the icing on the cake. The cherry on the top. Someone said in the comments well, because I didn't customize this character at all, I just uh, randomly assigned this to uh, this to boss. Uh <laughs> Spanish, Spanish speaking Dutch with the afro. I love him. <laughs> and now he has a nickname Gangster. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh. Increase critical hit chance by 5%, improving even further with proximity to target. So, this is perfect to put into a shotgun. Oh, oh man, that was so good. Gangster. Advent datapad decryption. Our troops recovered one of the advent datapads from the field, and there's valuable intel stored within. We can recover the intel, but it will require some time. Hello, Commander. And we also get the engineer. Nice. Okay, I um. I think we actually need the guy here because I really want to go to the Western Europe. Or do I want to start a 
We're picking up an unsecured transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Wait, is that the same same reference we got uh, in the, the original? I don't know. So that would be workshop. Um, we could have fifth here with uh, with engineer. Just think that we probably need to do that if we want to go to the. We want to go to the Western Europe as fast as possible. That that when we go to those supplies, we have those supplies to uh, build power and. I think right now I will put the engineer here to uh, heal things up. Did I have an unused engineer all this time? Yeah, I think I will do that. I will uh, increase the resistance communications when I go to the area. And then I will build the required things to, uh, to not require that. Let's go and get those supplies. Alien alloys. Avenger 463 new supplies, so there is no way I will uh, not go for that. Experimental ammo, Talon rounds. These rounds fracture into wicked micro shards, shards of alien alloy on impact, granting plus 20 critical chance and plus bonus damage on critical hits. So this one to a shotgun with the laser sights. That's the plan. And we will buy that... Uh... Oh, we actually get the supplies little by little. Look at this. We got the supplies already by... Uh... Just scanning one day. I like that too. So if you are really in a desperate situation, you can uh, go do something else. But uh, just scan for one day. Okay. I um, I think I want the plasma grenade. But uh, let me think about this. Do I do I need the supplies for something else? Because there's a whole lot of a whole lot of supplies that will be going into the. What can I do for you, Commander? Into the weapons. So like 150 to the grenade launcher and shotgun. And then so 450 in total for uh, for all the weapons. And then maybe 510 for the pistol. I will probably pass the armor, the predator armor, I don't know. Maybe I should build that because we are starting to get uh, if this works in the same way that you get this, uh, you get this to everyone. Just like the weapon, so you have that option to use that armor. That's uh, that's huge. But if it's just one, then well, even then it's kind of very very powerful. Tell me something, Doctor. It must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. The exo suit is, uh, is a really good one as well. So I'm thinking... Wait, but I need to research this and then I need to build this. This is just the research, this is not the build. I might get one out of that, but probably not because there are so no supplies. Plasma grenade could be huge over, over the frag grenade. I think as far as research goes here, Sounds good, Commander. it will be uh, as as it will be the plasma grenade. So I might as well put that because that takes time. 
And uh, with the supplies I have, I think the first thing, Hello, Commander. first thing I want to build is uh, is the grenade launcher and the shotgun, and then I can get the uh, the heavy weapons with the next supplies. The grenade launcher will help a lot. Uh, I can always take two rangers with the shotgun, for example, two specialists with the normal rifle. So, uh, yeah. Do I have the alloys? Yes, I do. Do I have alloys for everything? Yes, I do. So, uh, yeah. Let's take the grenade launcher. And uh, let's take the shotgun. And then when I go and check here, for example, on... Here... We still have the old upgrade, so that stays. So uh, one of them, one of them is getting the laser sight on the shotgun, and then uh, equipped with uh, equipped with the talon rounds. But uh, that kind of depends on the mission. But uh, weapon upgrade that won't, that will just be one. So I don't know, maybe maybe I will. I, I will prefer Irina quite a bit after she levels up, for, for obvious story reasons. Okay, 57 supplies from there as well. So this is now in the middle, right? So Shadow Chamber, we would have to build that, but the workshop, 20 days, 125 supplies. With this one I could, uh, I could have engineers here and here and here and these two and then here. Uh, I don't have unfortunately engineer requiring building there, so uh, if I, as I said at the beginning, I would build a proving ground there, Corel Tactics School here, so you'll have the engineer required requiring buildings here, like uh, next to the workshop that you can build. Uh, but do I build a workshop here and then uh, start clearing this, put a power relay there? It's probably a good idea. Do I get more power out of these power coil placements? This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Alright, so do you get like automatic power from it or something? I don't know how that works, that's a lot of supplies. So can you just excavate this with one? Ah, oh, yes you can. That's so misleading. Yeah. That is misleading. I think I need to start building a workshop here. I think I really want it here. 20 days. Just one power. Workshop construction initiated. Yeah. And then uh, let's continue the healing until everyone is up. It's a pretty good situation already. Just lightly wounded. We didn't even take any any heavy casualties there. But uh, let's continue the healing. But I think the we could use this. Uh, Get started on the removing this already. So let's put the engineer there, and it just well, it will just be a very very. No, oh, actually, that's that's so slow. It's better to put uh, actually invest in that when you uh, when you have the have the guys. Yeah, it's just, that's very 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 slow. It's the same thing with all these. So the level level three, you need three guys. Okay, let's let's continue on the, on the plasma grenade. And let's go get the rest of the supplies. Good. We have some new staff and 
no. The outcome of right this now. research can only further our advances, Ooh. Commander. This is finished as well. What will this open us? Plasma weapons? Yes, plasma rifle. Elerium conduit powered armor. Having completed our analysis of the substance tentatively referred to as Elerium 115, it's clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Elerium from another planet, but that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What do I know with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or synthesizing this substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we recover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirely entire, entirety of our available stockpile. The commander will have to be careful in choosing how to allocate these precious resources indeed. I have been careful. Elerium conduit greatly increase the power relays output. New facility upgrade, so you can upgrade to normal, normal power relays to be that. That's fantastic. Um, I think I will... Yeah, because the mech might provide something for the robotic system, so that sounds like something to upgrade. These robotic units, developed by Advent, the seem to be wholly suite. autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Hopefully that will give us some uh, gremlin upgrade, upgrades and hopefully a combat protocol upgrade as well. Maybe we should start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. <laughs> okay, so uh, I could upgrade this. How do I... Oh, with Elerium crystals I could upgrade it. Sure, but, uh, no. So I would get two additional power and a slot. With this, I would get six additional power and a slot. Okay. Uh, I think I will save my money for a little bit. We might get the weapons depending on what the next mission is. But I think what I will do now is go uh, go build a radio tower in Eastern Europe, and then. Uh, then head to Western, and uh, that's my target there. We'll also have uh, retaliation coming very soon, and a new facility again. And probably this dark event counter, so uh, yeah. 100 supplies to get uh, plus 83, so no longer gaining from this, like, immediately. But it will save us some intel, intel that we can use in the, in the black market. So, uh, I think I still want to build that. Or do I just go for the contact right away? We are only free short of the Avatar project, so if that goes forward... Do we spend 8 intel now? And then build the towers? I think I need to rush a bit to this. I think I need to rush it a bit, actually. So, oh, resistance contacts plus two. Wow, I was expecting one. Uh, so yeah, I think I will spend uh, eighty on this. Kind of because I because I am in a hurry. Setting course for the Western European War. It's kind of a waste, but it would take me. Uh, this will save me a couple of days, and uh, I'm really worried about Avatar Project at the moment. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Right. Everyone is healed, so we don't need uh, anyone in the advanced center boosting this one. So instead, we will go to the proving ground. Maybe I, it would be faster if I press the buttons below. So plasma grenade in two days now. Yeah, 
I speak. That opens up the black side to me. And now I don't necessarily have to go there right away. I can wait. Wait with the Avatar Project to meet me. While... While I've been avoiding spoilers... Uh... When the Doom Clock Doom Doom goes to a... Uh, okay, so we have around the world access now. So uh, when the Avatar Broads goes to the end, you have some time after that to do something. But I'm not going to wait too long. The only question is do I build these radio relays and uh, stuff like that. So I'm uh, building this one here, 100 supplies. And it would make it cheaper for me to get... Uh, get to uh, Africa or, uh, or Eastern US. There's facility coming and it will very likely be in South America, so I will have to rush there. The next areas I need to go to will be a New India, so I can head to this side then. So yeah, I guess I can't wait with this too long. The only question is, where will I, will I build a tower? I guess I will... Oh, I should have... Hmm. I think I need to build this now. So I can go uh, get a cheaper price to uh, actually wait. That's 40 intel already because I have a tower there. Right, so this tower would only make it cheaper here. And of course, uh, possibly get this, uh, this bonus. I think I will wait, wait a bit, but do we now make contact here when we actually have the capacity, like uh, get ready with this as well? I think I will do that, because that will be income and uh, possible events and such. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. That of course we ties the, any new contacts that until ties the engineer. Systems engineer to our resistance comms, but I think that's fine. We might not uh, scan this to the end. Uh, those alloys, I don't know, I would really love to have them, but I think I will wait to them. To I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Advent has yes. legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. Gremlin Mark II, that's what I was looking for. What is a blue screen protocol? I have no idea. Gremlin is an improved version of the standard Gremlin drone. Not only will it greatly increase the hacking stat of our specialists, but many specialist abilities improve their effectiveness when the Gremlin becomes more advanced. Fantastic. Love that. Blue screen. With the number of mechanized units Advent has available to forward us, developing mun mun munitions capable of disabling, disabling them should be one of our higher priorities. Titan suggested we look into disrupting their core operating system, and I agree, it's a good place to start. So we would be shooting shooting the robots to shut them down it sounds uh, it sounds really good um, that this uh, shield bearer will probably give us uh, something for our armor so i will go for that we don't need intel at the moment i won't be going for the powered armor or Sion. physically so. the advent this shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of advent's forces and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. All right. So let's continue making that contact. Probably go into some mission that pops up, maybe, maybe the retaliation, and then go to the site. That's a kind of a plan I have at the moment. Or we go to do the squirrel ops. Let's check, check the targets. So, uh, cost of recruits, I don't care about that. Uh, increases detection radius. I don't really care about that, but engineer would be nice. Uh, Intel. Oh yeah, yeah, that's one. That's one. The cost of this 
West Asia. Cost of this in supplies is huge. 50% less supplies next month, so no, not going there. So uh, I will uh, I will take a little break here. I was recording for hour and a half, so this was probably two part two part video with that previous mission in it. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time when we go to do those uh, gorilla ops. As uh, someone, uh, quite many comments has been mentioning that you are pronouncing it wrong. That's me. Finnish accent and strange word, strange pronunciation of words. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you are, if you are into that and and me playing There's more XCOM, about my flying, I'll see you next see time. Else up other than the <laughs> Bradford, Bradford, you always you always uh, stealing my thunder here. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but uh, next time some uh, guerrilla ops and uh, after that the black side and uh, yeah, I'm loving this game and the strat strategic part kind of taking those choices where do you go it's uh, like it's amazing it's it's XCOM on steroids just like it just like it should be so until next time take care bye bye